Hey, what's going on, everybody? Tyler here, coming at you with another beer review. Um, tonight's beer is one that I'm uh, pretty excited to bring to you guys. It's uh, a beer by Shorts Brewing out of Bel Air, Michigan. Also Elk Rapids, I believe. That's where their dis uh, distribution brewery is. But their main brewery is in Bel Air. It's called Machu Picchu, which is a double IPA coming in at 8% and 60 IBUs. Um, they don't put anything on the on the bottle labels, but uh, I looked it up. Um, it is their double IPA brewed with passion fruit honey and hopped with El Dorado, Mandarina Bavaria, and Vic Secret Hops. It's a collaboration with Rare Bird Brew Pub out of Traverse City, Michigan. Um, pretty excited to bring this one to you guys. Uh, I haven't really heard too much about it. I did watch um, Draft Therapy, Sean over at Draft Therapy. Um, his review, awesome review, go check it out. Uh, and I decided to pick it up before actually his review, but I, I wanted to get this one to the top of the order just to see what what I thought comparing to, uh, to what he thought. Um, it's pretty fresh, it just hit our market maybe a week ago. So it's relatively fresh, maybe a few weeks old, definitely less than uh, less than a month. But I don't think it's uh, New England style, so freshness matters in IPAs, but not nearly as much um, in the different uh, non-New England style IPAs. So it's less than a month, so it's fresh. <laughs> Let's get it into a glass here. Um, my Omi Gang glass, just. Because why not? Pouring pretty, uh, pretty fizzy here. Um, nice light amber color, uh, kind of like the amber, st like an amber stone. Um, some carbonation coming up. Very white head. Pretty compa compact bubbles, and then a little um, soapy at the top. Um, dissipating pretty quickly as well. I didn't. I don't think I gave it too aggressive of a pour, but, um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, let's get an aroma, everybody. Pretty mild, to be honest. Uh, not a lot coming out, popping out of the glass. Um, you get a little bit of a, let me see. You get a little bit of an alcoholic, like, astringency to it, um, a lot of uh, earthy, kind of piney hops. Um, I know El Dorado is very is known for its very tropical, uh, fruity hop, or fruity flavors. Um, and then the Mandarina Bavaria, citrusy, but also biscuity, earthy, uh, kind of those English hops. And then Vic's Secret, honestly don't know too much about on that one. But um, yeah, I'm getting a good malty, biscuity, crackery backbone. Um, so, some late alcohol uh, notes, and then a lot of piney, earthy, some tropical, a little bit of fruity, but, you know, I'm kind of digging deep. There's not, there's not a huge aroma uh, coming out of the glass of this one. So, I guess let's get into a taste. Cheers, everybody. Big multi backbone, very biscuity, crackery, almost like a pilsner malt, um, where you're getting that like thickness uh, to it. Yeah, very malt heavy in this one, um, but but flavorful. It's not bad. Um, it gives it like that roasty kind of toasted crackery malt. Um, that's the backbone in this one, and then getting into the hop, it's it's. Not extremely bitter, but there's a good amount of bitterness, kind of in the back end, like a piney, earthy bitterness. Um, as with the aroma, the the hop flavor isn't jumping out; it's not popping out. Um, it's more subdued to, for me, anyway. Um, there are some citrus notes, there are some tropical notes, um, there, there's like an earthiness to it too, but, yeah, it's like in the front there, there's that sweet, 
kind of tropical flavor, passion fruit. Um, in the middle is a very malt heavy, uh, malt reliant uh, flavors in there. Those roasty, not roasty, but toasty kind of crackery malts. And then the back end is that piney earthy bitterness. Um, I think in the middle I'm getting some of the honey. There is that sweetness that I might be giving credit to the malt, but I think uh, a lot of that sweetness is the honey in there. Gives it a fuller, thicker uh, mouthfeel. But it's not bad. Um, I could see myself drinking a couple of these. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of different. Um, yeah, I guess if you like just solid IPAs, it's worth a try. Um, if you can see it, because I think it's kind of a limited release, I would definitely you know tr pick it up and and give it a try if if you're into that. Um, Whenever Shorts has a limited release, I always pick it up because they're making some, some real solid beers, in my opinion, um, over the last year, year and a half. Uh, but but it's not going to blow you away. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty easy drinking. You can't really taste the 8% in there. Um, yeah, fruity front, kind of a malt, sweet, crackery middle. And then the piney, earthy bitterness um, to finish it out. Not too drying on the palate. Not bad. Pretty drinkable. Pretty easy going. I don't hate it. So I'm going to sip on this one tonight. I hope you guys are sipping on great craft beer as well. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Twitter, at Review the Brew. Uh, I have a Twitter and an Instagram, both there. Um, um, go follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description to both, both of those accounts. And thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next episode, video, whatever. Later.